So I had this pike plopper laying around. This one comes from Lurblanks. This, is, this one has really nice details. I really like uh, how it looks and I wanted to do something special with it. But why not for this occasion do a very simple pike pattern on it. I like my plopper lures especially to be transparent or a little bit like a ghost pattern. So we're going to do um, a transparent one on this one. Uh, you can also do an opaque pattern on there. It's up to you what you want to do. We're going to keep it very simple and I'm going to start with pearl white. But if you want it to be an opaque lure, not transparent at all, and you just take your regular opaque white and do a base coat. So I got some pearl white in my chamber and we're just going to base coat the lure. I'm using a quite high air pressure, about 30 psi. So now we're gonna do the belly of the pike. We're gonna use some opaque white. I'm just gonna take some Vallejo dead white for this. But we're gonna use just a little bit of white. We're not gonna use, we're not gonna do a full coverage here. So because of a pike is a little lighter on the underside of the belly, not, not directly underneath that's most often white or the leopard um, pattern but a little on the on the lowest point of the sides a pike is also uh, a little lighter it's a, a light green there medium green on the side and a dark green on top so to get this a little lighter on the underside of the pike we're gonna pre-shade with a little bit of yellow there that is going to when we go over with green gonna make it a little lighter there so i use vallejo sun yellow here and you can leave it a little bit blotchy, it doesn't need to be perfect because uh, a pike's pattern is also a little bit blotchy. But just like that, very simple, nothing special. Now since this video is mainly focused on beginners, I'm gonna mask off these two fins to just, just to make sure we're not gonna make them green. Because the next color we're gonna use is green. So this is gonna protect our fins so we don't make them all the way green. So I'm taking moss green, but again, you can use any type of dark green you want. You can even mix some dark green if you want. Uh, I find moss green just the perfect color for this. It's a transparent color. That's why I like the Wicked Detail line, because it's a very transparent paint, and you can nicely build up your layers to get the color you want. So we got our moss green in our chamber, and we're just slightly going to build up our green like so, we, we've built up our lighter green part, as you can see. So now I'm going to darken the back out a little bit and also around the eyes. The gill plates I'm going to leave a little lighter. Also the front of the nose most often is a little bit dark with the pike. We're just going to layer a little bit more of moss green over there. Right, so next up are our yellow spots on a pike. Now I got some really nice stencils with, which would really work well here. These might be a little too big I find. You can also use a texture stencil and get a little bit more of an irregular pattern in there. You can do whatever you want. So for the sake of this video and for the sake of beginners I'm gonna use a brush for this because this is something almost anybody has or you can get really easily in your local shop so we're gonna use a brush now I'm gonna mix a little bit of I'll take a pink white and wicked yellow why I'm gonna mix these two is because I want opaque spots on there I don't want them to be transparent so when this lure catches light those spots are not gonna let the light through and they're gonna stand out more from the lure now, if you're doing an opaque uh, entire lure already, and it's not going to be transparent, then it, the most easiest and the most best effect with a pencil is to use an opaque yellow as well. So the green doesn't shine through. So again, if you don't have any opaque yellow, just mix some opaque white with some yellow. It's going to be a little lighter, but it's going to be opaque. Did I forgot to film? Okay guys, so somehow I forgot to film this. But it's very simple. You just take your fine tip brush, it's a round brush, and you just make your hand steady. I you will always use two hands uh and just dip on little spots and lines randomly. You can use uh, a reference picture and try to use that, 
but it's it's nothing more than just dipping on all the dots take your time also do the gill plates a little bit and you get this really nice pattern out there it looks really pikey already I always make sure I have enough paint on my brush so we don't get any brush strokes and I can still see a brush stroke here so I'm just gonna just gonna add some more paint on that so you don't see any brush strokes anymore it becomes a nice clean dot here the same with still a little brush, brush stroke now it's a clean dot and that's how you get this pike pattern alright guys now if you want you can call this lure done and put the eyes on and put a clear coat on it and it's gonna look awesome as it is but I'm gonna go one step further and that is I'm gonna put some golden scales on top of the pike and maybe a little bit on the side but not too far down because I don't want to cover my my spots again I just want the top to have this goldish look like a real pike has but as I said you can also leave it like this and call it done and it's gonna look awesome the way it is right now so there we go and we're gonna put our mesh on and just slightly cover the back doesn't need much just a little we don't wanna fully blast gold on there we just wanna give a little bit of a golden sheen to it we're not gonna cover the entire back entirely with gold pigments we don't want that right we're gonna take the mesh off and there we have a nice subtle but shiny golden scaling on top of it just to finish that off now most of the lures we paint don't have the fins so then uh, this lure would be done and then it's only the eyes and uh, clear coat but because this one has fins on there I'm gonna do the fins as well it's gonna be a little bonus footage but it's not part of the simple pike pattern I would say the simple pike pattern was this until the gold scaling which is a little extra but um, yeah we're gonna do the fins as well I'm gonna take Vallejo um, Sun yellow. Now I take some Vallejo hot orange and just do the outer edge. Right, and now I have some moss green back in the chamber, and now we're gonna blur out a little bit of that yellow in the center of the fins on both sides and make this kind of a blurry pattern in there, like uh, the fins have, like the kind of stripes, but they're blurry. So we're gonna try to shoot from real close. There we go guys, nice and subtle fins that have a little flash underneath there from the pearl white. Not too bright, but just enough. This is not part of the easy pike pattern, this is for the advanced people or for people who have uh, lures with fins on there, which uh, most lures don't even have these fins. So it would only be the body that, that is uh, the simple pike pattern. But yeah, let's put some eyes on there. These eyes come with the blank. These are red. They're pretty cool. But uh, if I could choose, I would have a, a natural eye. Like a brownish with a little bit of yellow golden in there. But uh, yeah, this, this kind of shape, you don't got a lot of choice. We're going to put a clear coat on this and it's gonna be really nice. There we go guys, a quite simple, well I have to say very simple but yet realistic pike pattern easy to do and the result is great it's a very realistic pattern actually so I'm really pleased with it and I hope you learned something too so as always guys 
if you want to know how to do a, a certain pattern in a simple way let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye